Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's video we're looking at rigging, specifically rigging props. Uh, before we begin the tutorial, I'd like to apologize for the thumbnail that I used to get your attention on this video. It's just that I couldn't think of anything appealing to put as a thumbnail. Having said that, let's get to the tutorial right now. Okay, so here we are at Dash Studio and I'm really excited to do the tutorial today because rigging is a very important aspect of Dash Studio and how you, you can make your items move, your characters move, your props move. And as you can see, I'm just going to show you a quick example of what rigging is. So this is a Genesis 8 male figure that I purchased from the Dash store. And you can see here, you've got these kind of diamond-like items here and these are like the virtual bonds. And these virtual bonds are the things that actually allow you to move your character. So I can click on say here, I can move the twist it, I can twist it, bend it, etc. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be learning about rigging. Now, obviously we won't be doing a figure because it takes a very long time to do this. However, we're going to start off with something basic by rigging a prop. So you've got, you've probably got lots of props in your content library and we're going to start by doing a simple door, actually making a door open and close. Very, very simple, very, very effective though. And making the best use of the items you already have in your content library. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get rid of our character because I don't need him anymore. And I'm going to put my prop there. So this is a prop that I purchased, was caught, comes part of a pack that I purchased from the dad store. And we're going to make the actual door here movable and make it open and close. So the first thing we need to do is I need to click on my item here. And as you can see, this item here is an object because you can tell by the shape here, this just means it's an object. It doesn't do anything. It's just a flat object. It doesn't really actually do anything per se. It's just a 3D object that doesn't do anything. So we're gonna make the door open. So the first thing we need to do is tell Dash Studio we want to rig it. So I've got my item selected. I'm gonna to go to edit, object, rigging, convert prop to figure. So you end up with this little window here and it's asking you what kind of rigging type do you want to use? Now the one we're going to use is general weight mapping because that's the one that's most compatible with the majority of items in Dash Studio. So we're going to use that. And as you can see now the icons changed here to a hexagonal kind of icon. And when I click on here, the expand that, you'll see there's a hip bone. So Dash Studio has given us a hip bone, which is great, which tells us we can start rigging. Now the next thing we need to do is I need to go to the geometry editor and I need to make a selection and tell Dash Studio this is the item I want to rig, this is the face of the item, this is what I want to rig and that's what we need to do next. So I'm going to go to tool settings here, I'm going to go to the geometry editor. Now I recommend you check out the previous the video uh, in the description box for a link to the description box of the geometry editor video how to use it. Make sure you check that out first before you do this because you really need to know the basic fundamentals and uh, in this video, I'm just going to go straight ahead and start doing things. So I'm not going to go through any of the options in Jump Theater. I'm just going to go straight to uh, doing the groups. So make sure you check out that video below. Link will be in the description box. Now let's get back to this video. So I make sure I click on my item. That's a good idea. And I need to select the door. So I'm going to click on that and I keep control plus plus plex. And I'm going to select all the items. Actually, what I should have done is go to wire shading mode. That would have been a bit more clever. There we go. So I can see the wire shading and I need to select the handle as well because the handle is part of the door. So select that as well. Control plus plus. That's what I'm using as my shortcut because it's just so much easier to do. And now I'm just going to double check to make sure it's all selected. And that looks good. Okay, so I made my selection. Now I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to geometry assignment. Create face from the selected group. And now I'm going to call this left door because that's what it is. It's the left door. Click accept and there we go. So left door and that's how many um, polygons is selected, 3,424. We'll find out if that's correct soon enough. So we've got our face group collected, which is great. We've selected, we've told Dash Studio that's what we want to do. Now the next thing you need to do is create a bone. So make sure I click on the hit bone here and I'm going to go to the bone editor, uh, sorry, the joint editor here. Okay. So the next thing I need to do is create a child bone. So I click on this uh, icon here, click on create, and I click on child bone. And the bone name when I give it is left door because it is the left door. Now the rotation order is very important. So make sure that the rotation order matches up with what Dash Studio has already selected for you. So X, Y, Z. So this is X, Y, Z, which is great. So I'll click accept and that's matching. So it's very important you make sure you match the rotation order. The rotation order will be automatically done, 
by Dad Studio of what he thinks is best. And then just make sure when you create a child bone that it matches up with the rotation order here. So now we've got a bone here, a left door bone, and you'll see it. You'll see that, you'll see this red here, this kind of red translation tool. And now we're gonna set the bone. So the red one is the actual end point of the bone. So I'm gonna raise that up now. And I want it to be roughly so I want the actual outline of this door to match where the circle is. So that's the actual end point, the actual, where the actual Dash uh, Studio uses these figures. So, and the green one is the starting point. So it is the starting point and I want it roughly where the door is. Now I'm just gonna check to make sure that there you go. So make sure you always check because obviously it's right in the center and I don't want it in the center. I want it to the right. So I'm going to move that across and I'm going to move that one across as well. Let's have a look. So now it's too much out. So with this, cause obviously it's a 3d space, you need to kind of play around a bit with it. That actually needs to go a bit more higher up. And this needs to move across here because I want it at the edge of the door. So the edge of the door. Now it doesn't need to be exactly where it is. It doesn't need to be like exactly right in the corner of the door. It needs to be in the general vicinity of it. So it doesn't need to be right there. So that looks okay. So at the moment, the problem is now is as you can see, my bone is pointing that way. And I don't want the bone pointing that way. I want the bone lining up with this here. So to do that, I can right click, I can do align and I can do align node. And there we go. And it's aligned the node. Now that looks okay, but we can always change that as we go ahead with the tutorial. Okay, so that looks good. I'm happy with that. Now, so these are the settings here. Um, you can see that these are all settings I've changed. So the end point, remember, is the red one, is the red one here. And actually it says here center point, which is the actual starting point here, which is here, the green one here. So that's the starting point. Now what you want to do is make sure the actual positions match. So the X positions are not the same. So we need to make sure they are the same. So minus 75.96. And the Z is fine. The Z is not, the, actually the Z is off as well. We got to make sure the Z is the same. So 36. Point eight and we're going to make sure the rotation is the same as well so that's got to be zero and let's align it now there we go okay so z rotation 90 degrees which is great which means it's a straight line okay so now we've done that the final thing we need to do now is tell dash studio uh, that this bone we've just created here this kind of virtual bone um, it needs to, which group, which selection group is it a part of? So we got to go to selection group here. We click here and we're going to choose left door. So this is the selection that we created earlier in the geometry editor. Okay. So I'm going to click on that. So now that studio knows that this left door bone that we created, it's part of this here, this selection group here. Okay. So now we need to go back to the geometry editor. So that's all highlighted, which is great and I need to go to my node weight map brush. Now here we've got general weights. So I'll click on general weights. So this was this will be automatically created when, because remember when I did at the starting when we had to choose our weight mapping, we chose general weights, that's what we did there. So now we need to tell Dash Studio, how much weight do we want to apply to this, select, to this selection here when the door, so the door opens, like how much weight do you want to apply? So generally we would do weight editing because it's a, a, a hard item, so to speak, a hard item. The weight we'll choose is 100% weight. So we go or right click, I go to editing, fill selected and weight value of 100. And you'll see that the actual, all the section will turn red. So that means the weight we're using is 100% because it's a hard item. If you were doing soft items, for example, like clothing or bags maybe you wouldn't use 100% you would actually use a different technique and that's something we'll delve into later 
So I've selected that, I've done that now and the weight's done. So, so now let's go ahead and test it. So I'm going to go to my X rotate and I'm going to open it and there we go. Magically it opens. So there you go. And just to show you, I'll get off that actually so you can see properly. I will go back to the texture shading mode as well. Uh, actually we could even go to the NVIDIA iRay mode. It doesn't really matter. And there you go. My door is opening and closing. How fantastic is that? Now, obviously you can do another bone and then do the right door if you want to do that. You can, it's a very similar thing. It's a very same process. You would just go through the same instructions. You would uh, create a selection here like we did earlier. You would do another hip bone, another bone here, a trial bone, and then you would do the weight mapping and there it is. Uh, it's very, very simple. So obviously we can use the X rotate. We could even go and do the Y rotate if you want to. I don't know why. If the door's broken from the handle maybe, you could do something like that. And we can even do Z rotate as well if it's like really broke. So that's it really in terms of rigging. Um, it's very, very simple to do props like that. It does help. Um, not all props would rig very well. It depends on how the person's created the rigging because it depends on the geometry. So if you have a look at the geometry here, um, the person uh, who created this prop has done a very good job with the geometry. So it's easy to select different parts of the geometry. So you can do it. Sometimes when you choose a prop, um, you won't be able to select all of the door. It kind of it will start selecting other items. You have to be very, very careful when you're doing the selection because it's all key. The selection process uh, using the jump tractor is a key part of this rigging. So before you leave, I want to show you one more quick thing that I've done, a little freebie that I want to give you. So let me just load that up right now. So this is what I've created here, a little freebie for you guys. It's a little cupboard that I've made. Um, there you go. It looks kind of cool. This is all done in Dash Studio, by the way. I didn't go into Blender or anything like that. You can make these things in Dash Studio. It's it's quite simple. Uh, it takes a bit of time, but it is is you are able to do things like this in Dash Studio. So you don't really need to have Blender or you know some kind of crazy 3D modeling program like ZBrush or anything like that. You can actually do most of the kind of props in in Dash Studio. Simple props like this in Dash Studio. So I've got here open door, and I open the door using this. And there you go, the door's open and it looks kind of cool. Um, so what I'm gonna do is put a link in the description for that below. So make sure you download that freebie prop. I will create a video um, to go with this to show you how to install it into your content library and how you to use it in Dash, how you can find it in Dash Studio using your content library here uh, in Dash Studio. So make sure you check out that as well. And I hope you download it, I hope you use it in your renders. And if you do use this in your renders, please let me know, send me an image and I would love to share it on IG, on Instagram, I'd love to share it on YouTube and to see how you've used the prop in your scenes. Okay, so there we have it. We covered the basics of how to rig props that you've got already in the content library. So things like wardrobes and cupboards with doors on, have a go at rigging those. And don't forget to check out the link in the description box below for a freebie that I created for you, a freebie cupboard. Um, you can copy that into your content library. Our instructions are all provided, so check out that down below. And in next week's video, we're going to look at deformers. And while you wait for that video, check out these videos over here. Hit the subscribe button over there. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. And leave a comment down below. And I'll see you in next week's video.